Hey guys, this is kind of a fun and frivolous project. I wanted to see if I can make a Moog sounding synthesizer out of simple electronics. And I wanted to make it controllable by Arduino. So I found a circuit online by a fellow called Peter McBennett. I'll give you the link to his stuff in the Instructables. And I looked at his circuit and how it works and then I tried to modify it. And this is the result. So anyway, let's take a look at how to do it. Here we go. the original synthesizer circuit by Peter McBennett. Thanks to Peter and apologies for modifying your circuit. I hope you don't mind too much. So um, I'm going to use sort of the left half of this circuit. This is the, the circuit here that generates the sound and then uh, you change the frequency by switching these switches. So this synthesizer as it is relies on pressing these different switches to make different tones. What I want to do is give this control of this over to the Arduino and also hook it up to a ultrasonic distance detector so that you can actually move your hand and make it almost Thurman like to make it make different sounds. And I also wanted to take this pot here, this PWM balance, and hook this up to a digital pot so that the Arduino can modulate that also. Okay. So let's go on and take a look at what we need to do. So I'm going to use this uh, CD4066 CMOS switch to replace the actual physical manual switches. And this will be definitely adequate for what we need. It can switch uh, about 15 volts of DC and has a low, fairly low resistance on state of about 125 ohms. And if we go down and we take a look at the, uh, the pinout of this thing, it looks like this. So basically it's very simple. Each switch, each uh, IC has four switches built into it. There's a uh, signal in, signal out, and then there's a control pin. So when you pull a control pin high, it enables the switch. You pull it low and it turns the switch off. It's that simple. So I'm going to use two of these in the circuit. I'm also going to use this HCSR04 ultrasonic ranging module. This thing operates at 40 kilohertz and uh, it uses a 5 volt supply. It's pretty simple. Uh, it it ru works supposedly out to a range of 4 meters, although I found that uh, for this application it seemed to work reasonably well up to about a meter and a bit and then it didn't seem to be that responsive but that's good enough for experimentation. It's pretty simple. It's This is what it looks like and it just has power and ground and then it has a trigger pin and an echo pin. So basically you trigger it with the circuit and then you wait for a reflection to come back on the echo pin and then from the, the time that it takes from the trigger to the echo you can uh, determine the distance. And there's one more device I'm planning to use which is the digital potentiometer. So the microchip MCP4131 and I happen to have the 10k ohm pot available so I'll try to use that with some series resistors. And this is the pinout of the device. It's pretty simple. It's an 8 pin device. It's controlled by SPI, serial interface. So that's what these pins are over here and there's a chip select pin and then the potentiometer terminals. So the, the usual terminals for the potentiometer that you would expect and the wiper in the middle. So we're going to try and use this in the circuit as well. Okay, let's carry on. So here's the modified circuit that I came up with. Down here on the left is Peter McBennett's original circuit which provides the Moog-like sound and rather than explaining how this circuit works in great detail what I'll do after this is I'll show you what the waveform lo looks like at certain points in the circuit and you'll sort of get the general idea of how it adds together to make the sound. 
Now the modifications I've made have added an Arduino, of course. Here are the two CD4066 switches. So these switches are switching in these resistors here through these connections A through H back up to here and you can see them here A through H. So uh, because it's difficult to draw all the wires I did it that way. And I also have the ultrasonic sensor so this is connected to the Arduino and what this will do is depending on the distance that you are from the sensor it will decide which of these switches get turned on and off. And then I have the digital pot so I've connected this digital pot in series with a couple of series resistors here. Ideally it would have been better if I had a 100k digital pot, but I've only got a 10k digital pot. And Peter originally used a 100k pot here. But this gives enough sort of variability that you can hear it in the sound. So I'll program the Arduino to vary this digital pot also to give that sort of warbling sound to things. Down here I just have a little PAM 8304 amplifier module. So this is just a, a cheap little sort of $5 amplifier module that will give us quite a loud sp sound out of the loudspeaker. So this is the circuit I came up with. Uh, I'll go build it and then let's uh, try it out. So at the first point here you can see that we have an oscillating triangular wave. And then at the next point we have a rectangular or square wave approximately. And at this point here, we just have an up and down, slow up and down of a DC level. And then finally at the output, we have this pulse width modulated square wave, which is changing with frequency and pulse width at the same time. Let's take a really quick look at the program here. We're including the SPI library for the digital pot, setting up the digital pot address and so on, defining pins for the ultrasonic transducer, and the enable pins on the digital switches, the CD4066. Further down here, defining pin modes, whether they're inputs or outputs. Here in the loop I have the digital pot so it increments in steps of 16 just so there's a significant change in resistance every time so every time we go through the loop it increments the pot value and further down here we're setting off the ultrasonic sensor with a ping and then figuring out the duration and calculating the distance and then based on the distance we're setting the CD4066 enable pins. So if the distance is less than 10 centimeters, we're selecting uh, frequency one. So we're switching the first switch on the first chip. And then if it's between 10 and 20, we're selecting F2 or we're switching the second switch. Now, if you want to get a different sound, you can do this differently. You can set different distances. You can set a different duration in the pot right you can activate two switches at once and so on. So this just changes the, the bank of resistors and changes the frequency. And further down here, we just have the little routine that writes to the digital pot. So that's the, the, the program. It's pretty simple. You can see here before when I was testing it out with the ultrasonic sensor, I just had a uh, reading to the serial monitor just to get the thing going. I'll leave that in there in case you need to use it. Windows again. Okay, so that's it for the program. Let's look, take a look at the thing in operation. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe on YouTube and Instructables. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.